Hello everyone, welcome back to DevOps and Cloud with Aria. So in this video, I will share about the track car. So how to do the linking between the track car device and also the geofence. But the first thing is like why we need to do the linking between the track car device to the track car geofence. Because when we do that, actually it will put the, the entire process to be linked and we can do the we can get the benefit uh, from that. So for the example, so I have this uh, POC track car device that online now with a geofence called the sub geofence in this area so i also already not uh, configure notification for the geofence enter geofence exited device stop and something like that so the channel will be the web so the expectation is if the device is if the device is actually coming to this geofence area it will throw some pop-up in the web ui okay so that's the thing so let's try to move this uh, device to inside of the uh, geofence and let's see what's happened so the thing is i will put some changes on the location okay and now you see that the device is actually inside of the of the geofence but there is nothing happen so there is no notification or anything and if i move out the device from the geofence we can expect actually to have the notification also but let's see whether that's the case see there is nothing uh, here so nothing happened so why is that so the reason is actually because there is no linking between this device to this geofence so what we need to do is we configure this device to be linked to this geofence so later when there is an event between this device and this geofence we will get some notification so we can configure that the linking for device to geofence by go to the setting and then click on the devices and select the device that you want to link with the geofence and there is a symbol for the connection here and just click that and click in the geofence it will show the drop down of the list of the geofence just click the one that you want to configure in this case is the sub uh, second fence okay so now i already have this configured it is all auto save now let's go back to the dashboard and let's test whether we can see the notification if this device is coming into this uh, geofence area okay now i will change the location again for this device and let's see what happened for this one okay let's see okay now we can see that actually when the device is moving through to the geofence we can see some pop-up right mentioning that actually there is the the event of the device entering the geofence so it's working fine now so let's test about the second event which is like when the device exiting the geofence so let's move the device to outside of the geofence and we can expect that there is a notification pop-up in the web as we speak as we change the location of the device itself and now we can see the notification pop up because the device is actually moving from moving out from the geofence so that's the thing how to do the linking between the tracker device to the geofence so you can link single uh, device to multiple geofence depend on what you want and yeah that's the thing for the notification so you can configure that for the web you can configure that for the mail after you configure the smtp anything like that so basically that will be only working after you do the linking between the device and also the geofence and that is for this video if you have any question regarding the tracker just put it in the comment but if you need some consultation i also opening the paid consultation for the tracker and just check it, the link in the description and see you in the next video